Hello, hello YouTube. Um, I haven't uh, posted a video for a while. Um, we have been very, very busy. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. Uh, the last video I posted um, was, um, well, I, I posted one last week, but the thing is, that was from October. Um, so a lot has happened since October. Um, we, uh, we've been getting on with this place. It's been so slow though, so slow. Uh, we, we couldn't do a lot of the work because the electrician was in. Um, but um, now they've gone, the, the work starts to go go forward. And um, so uh, we're, we're, we're getting on with this. Um, we've also been looking at other properties in the background. Uh, you might have had, I put a little snippet um, on the last video. Um, we're, we've put a deposit on, a, on another property. That property is 25 minutes away from where we are at the moment. So we're just north of Laval, uh, five minutes north of Laval uh, in the Mayenne. Uh, this is uh, so about 25 minutes from Laval. Um, so the property itself is overlooking the Mayenne River. It's a beautiful surround, beautiful. Um, five acres, uh, it's got an orchard, um, the house itself is, is, is a nice house, um, it's three bedrooms, it's got everything we want, uh, it's also got a, uh, a barn, a sheet barn, um, which is in very good condition, both properties are, are in very, very good condition. Um, and what sold it for us? was the, the view over the Mayenne. Um, so we put an offer in, uh, it, it was um, initially declined um, because we thought it was a bit, bit higher than we thought we liked. Um, so we put a lower offer in, uh, we, we had a compromise with, um, with the owners and the estate agents and the, eventually we came to a deal so, uh, and that started in December, early December, um, maybe even late November. Um, so, um, with France property laws, um, it takes a while for all the documentation to go through, etc., etc. And then we've got to agree fees and notaires fees and things like that. And, um, and the wife is dealing with all of that because a she's French, and um, so she's had a lot of stress on her. Um, me, I came down with some kind of bug in in the winter. In fact, it was just before Christmas, and um, yeah, <laughs> that knocked me sideways. Um, I don't think it was COVID though. I don't think we've ever had COVID. <sighs> Touch wood. And uh, so, yeah, um, we've, uh, we're, we're looking to move into it um, next month, um, February. Um, middle of, late February maybe. Uh, can't wait, absolutely can't wait. Um, so like I said, it's a three bedroom detached property with some land. It's got a, um, a natural pool. Uh, overlooking the Mayenne, it, the, they are the, the 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 current owners have two donkeys and um, on the on the ground grounds, and um, they asked us if we wanted the donkeys, and I said no 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 no, no we don't want the donkeys, um, but the donkeys manage the the grass levels and things like that. So uh, yeah, it's got an apple orchard. It's got uh, various fruit trees, um, kiwi fruit trees. I think it's got walnut as well. Um, but it's it's idyllic. It's absolutely idyllic, I, and I hope hope it remains that way. There's not a lot of work to do immediately. Um, maybe a few um, things need to be done to the sheet to um, make it a bit higher class maybe uh, and, but they're just minor things um, 
it's got its own water supply as well, um, which is fantastic. Um, the only thing we, well, I would like to do is put solar on there, but I'll start, I'll start uh, investigating that just as a workshop type of thing. And that's the only other thing, it hasn't got a garage per se. Um, but, you know, we'll have to build a garage. Um, so that's where we are, property-wise. This place will be either be rented out or we will um, sell it. Um, I'm, I'm thinking we may sell uh, at the moment. I don't know, it all depends how the environment is. Um, and the other, the other news is that um, I'm, I've set up my own business um, as a micro entrepreneur, uh, one man band, as they say. Um, bit of a DIY enthusiast and uh, all round, you know, general dog's body. That's me. Um, I may not know everything, but I can learn quickly and and you know learn on the job, so to speak. Um, so, jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that, uh, I've actually got a job as well. Um, it's a contract job and it's, it's working on a chateau. Um, it, it's a chateau um, in La Crops, uh, which is near Melee Domain. And it's a beautiful place, absolutely beautiful beautiful um, I think it's 28 acres of, of ground that has to be managed and uh, my job at the moment is to manage them grounds uh, not the gardens just the grounds I'm like a groundskeeper type of thing uh, so they've got a forest on site um, uh, on site they have a forest um, they have swimming a swimming pool. They have a, um, a vegetable garden, which is vast, um, and it, it's it's a wonderful place to work. Um, all weathers. I'm out. I'm out. I'm, I'm only contracted at the moment to do two two days a week, but um, <laughs> it wipes me out. <laughs> two days a week at the moment is is fine because the rest of the week I'm in this place. DIY, so I need a rest every now and again. Um, so it's yeah, the, the like I say, the, uh, we've got money coming in. It's not a lot of money, but it's money. And um, setting up the business was was quite traumatic. Um, not being French or not, you know, I'm still learning the, the French type type of way, uh, the way their administration works, but. Um, yeah, well, we're there. I'm, I'm now a single enterprise. Uh, so w what else? Um, I don't think there's anything else. I'll do a tour of the place just to, t just to show you where we've come on since October, I suppose. It's, it's, it's not as far as I'd like to be, but, um, you know, there's so many, so many hours in a day. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll keep you apprised. If I if if I uh, manage to find time to do some videos uh, around the chateau, I, I'll I'll do it. Um, I'll have to wait to get my my cameras out of storage. I've got little type GoPro. Not they're not GoPros. Um, I don't want to get a GoPro, but these are these are little little cameras where I can set up around the place, and they they're just as good. Um, so yeah, if um, I might do that, I don't know yet, but um, when we move in, I will start to do the I will start to concentrate on the these vlogs. It's um, there's just so much going on, we, we don't stop, we have a working life, and then we get we get to our sheet that we're staying in, and we just collapse, and we're like nine o'clock, was we're, we're like this on the sofa. It's just crazy. Anyway, let me show you around what we've done so far. Right, you come into the front door as per normal, and you probably notice there's a wall up here. That's been put in. 
There's a point down here for the radiator. Yep, there it is. And then you've got another electric point down here. And then this is going to be our downstairs bedroom en suite, so to, so to speak. Okay, the ceiling hasn't been fully done yet, but we've got a few issues that we need to deal with for the exterior before we do that. So all the boards are up in here. Radiators on. Well, say it's on, it's, it's attached to the wall. So we've still got some stuff to do in here. And here is the bathroom for this room. So toilet outlet. That's the toilet inlet. And then up here, we've got the shower point. There's, there's obviously there's a big shower going in here. So that's all been put in. And then uh, all this is, I think it's called hydro board. And then you've got uh, an expel air, which is going to be, I'm going to be fitting that soon when it's dry outside. We've had nothing but rain lately. So yeah, we've got, uh, I think here, down here. Where am I looking? Have I got it? There we go. Radiator point there. Then we've got a sink point there, an outlet, and then we've got uh, obviously electric point there, and a light point there. So yeah, this is downstairs. Um, into the downstairs kitchen. Okay, it's a tip. I know it's a tip. So obviously. That's the outside of the bathroom, downstairs bathroom. And then we've got this all boarded here. So, yeah, all my tools. And yeah, that's, that's gonna be um, blocked off. There's gonna be a door here. Uh, to access we're going to leave that as is it's like a little cellar type of thing um, Nothing to show you in the garage. Oh, yes, there is maybe maybe In the garage We have nice bright lights uh, This on the floor is our kitchen worktops some of our kitchen worktops um, Obviously we've had electrics put in in here, well, updated electrics. And here's the, I haven't finished this by the way. This is a mock-up. This is the gray water from the upstairs kitchen, which I've mocked up here. And there, it goes straight up there. So yeah, that's it in the garage. All right, let's carry on. Upstairs. So, upstairs. Uh, right, you come upstairs and you come to the kitchen diner type of thing. At the moment, I'm just filling and sanding preparation, wall preparation basically. I've got to get rid of that expel air for the um, for the previous cooker that was there. Up the top, that's going to be replaced. That's a VMC cover, so I've got to replace that cover. So, yeah. Where the walls were, I've managed to find some kind of, well, it's good, it's like some type of plaster. that I've filled in here, so I'm just smoothing down. And if I need to skim it, I will. And here is where the sink's going to be. There's the outlet there. And obviously we've got electric outlets here. So if you remember, you might be able to see it where the previous wall was. 
That comes all the way up here and up to there. Uh, yeah. So, oh, there's more worktops down here. So it's all focused on this room at the moment. We have to get this room done to start doing the walls and then putting the floor down and then putting the kitchen in. In here, right, still, right, okay, bathroom, still waiting for bits. The wall, I'm not happy with the wall, but I might have to re-skim it. I'm just not happy with it. This stuff here feels sticky, I don't like it. I'll put this before, it's just like butter. So I'm gonna have to go over that. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we're still waiting on stuff. Supply issues. So this is the bathroom. It's, you know, it, it shouldn't take long to do once we've got the kit in. Um, in the front bedroom, shutters are closed, so that's why it's dark. We're using this as a storage dump at the moment, the front bedroom. So we've got all of our, this is our kitchen units. This is nearly the entirety of the kitchen, actually. And uh, nothing really has gone on in here. Not really. Um, back bedroom, again, storage dump. That's our floor for the um, kitchen and the living room. So various radiators lying around here. So yeah, it's just um, takes time. It takes a lot of time and motivation. Sometimes I don't have the motivation, but that's that's a normal thing. I hope it's a normal thing. So yeah, and, and that's where we are at the moment. Anyway, I'll, uh, if, if anything changes, I will uh, endeavor to try and video stuff as I go along. Um, and uh, take care everyone. It's a rough world out there. Speak to you soon. Bye bye now.